Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing a product from Bellroy. Uh, it is the Bellroy pencil case. This is the forest green version. Uh, this version is a little harder to come by these days, so if uh, you are interested in it, grab it. Uh, but there are other colours of this available, which I'll go into in just a second. Bellroy is an Australian-based company, or more to the point, Melbourne-based company, uh, who specialise in making uh, bags and accessories, things like phone covers and backpacks and little sling bags and things like this pencil case. They, as I said, are Melbourne-based and the products are all designed here in Melbourne. Uh, and this particular one is manufactured in India. As I said, this is the Bellroy pencil case. It is made of a uh, canva weave material, which is, this particular one is from recycled plastic bottles um, and leather uh, little trims like the, uh, the little um, zip tag there. It's got a YKK zip uh, and it is durably made. It is uh, well thought out and there's a few features that I think are really, really great. So I mentioned this comes in a couple of other colours. Um, there's a charcoal, which is like, as charcoal would sort of suggest, a sort of a dark grey, almost black. Uh, there's also the marine blue, uh, which is a really lovely sort of uh, dusty blue kind of colour with a hint of sort of turquoisey green. And then there's the limestone, which is a lighter grey, uh, which is also leather free. So it uses like another like material uh, for the zip tag. The dimensions of the Bellroy pencil case are 235 millimetres from end to end, 7, uh, point, oh, 70 millimetres wide, and 40 millimetres deep. So it's a pretty decent sort of size for a small uh, pencil case like this, um, and it actually packs a lot of punch in terms of what it can hold. So let's now talk about a couple of the features and then I'm gonna show sort of the amount of stuff this can carry in the format that I carry it in. And we'll talk about some pros and cons. Okay, so a couple of great features, as I said, the YKK zip. Um, it's strong, it's durable, it's well sewn in. All the products are really well made with great attention to detail. Um, it has these pull loops on the ends, which I think are great. Like if you've got this in a bag, um, it's just a great way to be able to pull it, sort of, you know, take it out without sort of having to grip around it. All nice little features um, that aid in the use and little extras that are thought out well um, based on close you know, contact with, with users and stuff through the design process. This uh, woven fabric is water resistant. I'm not gonna say waterproof, but it is water resistance, uh, resistant. So if it gets damp, the stuff inside is gonna be relatively well protected. And the great thing about a case like this is its versatility. Um, pens, pencils, all that sort of stationary stuff, plus things like cables or earphones and that sort of thing, whatever you are carrying, it's just a great, even if you don't use it as a pencil case, it is a great pouch uh, for you know, your everyday carry items. One of my favorite features, uh, of this case, which um, will open us up to show you what I carry, is the fold-out tray um, nature of the case. So, because those loops go all the way around, it gives you the option to open that case out and you have basically a desk tray. So, you can open this up on your desk, have easy access to your stuff, and then when you're ready, zip it up, and away you go. So, what do I carry in it? Well, I carry a pretty decent amount of stuff. An average everyday big four color click pen. I have a Pilot Metropolitan here, the fountain pen, in an Aston leather sleeve. I have just a Pilot V pen or Varsity, a Tombow uh, eraser, some LEDs, a couple of uh, pencil sharpeners here, a uh, favorite one of mine, being um, uh, this uh, Ducks brand pencil sharpener, which gives you the ability to uh, sharpen to different point lengths. I have a Blackwing pencil, the Kaveco mechanical, uh, special mechanical pencil in brass, Muji gel uh, pen in the retractable cover, a big highlighter, Apple pencil, 
another uh, pencil. This is a Tombow Mono pencil with a, a Blackwing uh, eraser. I have another pen sleeve here from Rickshaw Pens with a Estabrook Camden fountain pen in it. And then this is a 15 centimeter brass small ruler. And you can see that gives a good indication of the length of the inside of the case. So there's quite a lot of stuff that I sort of pack into this little pencil case. And this is stuff that uh, you know I use in my everyday sort of work life and for journaling and all of those sorts of things so it's a really handy size to have around and because the case uh, is durable it can travel with me i take it from one bag put it into another bag it goes in the bottom of my back of my backpack into my satchel wherever it needs to be because it is a durable case and i don't i'm never concerned for what's inside the case before we get to the pros and cons of this case um, I wanted to just talk about the price. Now, as I said, this particular color, the forest green, uh, which is the recycled material one, uh, is actually not that readily available anymore. I'm not sure if they're phasing the color out or what the case may be, but this green across all their range of products uh, is becoming less and less common. So if you, if you like this and you see it somewhere, grab it. But the price is a thing to take into account when you're buying Bellroy. These are, for what they are, these are premium products. They're thought out, designed, well designed, um, well constructed, and you do pay a reasonable price for that. In Australia, these pencil cases retail for 55 Australian dollars. You can buy them online in the US for about 39 Australian. So not a particularly cheap case and in a way that's kind of like the biggest con for me with a case like this it is well made it is well thought out but at 55 australian dollars it's on the expensive end for what is effectively a pencil case now you can buy uh, cases very similar to this from other brands for a fifth a tenth the price depending on sort of the features and the quality of the material and stuff that you're willing to get but this one will cost 55 australian the only other con for me and this is simply aesthetic because it goes against one of my absolute favorite pros of this is that when this is in that sort of folded out tray um, mode desk tray whatever you want to call it mode there's a couple of things i don't love so seeing the inside of the zips here like, it would be great if these were all integrated into the lining of the case. The other issue I have is the tag being there, and I understand the tag is an important element. It gives cleaning information and gives uh, you know information about where it was made and designed and all of those sorts of things, but it's kind of aesthetically, well, kind of unattractive. Necessary, but unattractive, and I wonder if there is a better placement or a better way they could have uh, provided some of that information whether it was printed on you know one of these internal um, walls or something like that as opposed to just being a tag that sort of sits there in the way but this fold out tray mode is one of my favorite features of this this lives on my desk when i'm at the moment i'm actually traveling around uh, australia touring um, this is being recorded ahead of being um, published um, and it is you know whenever i get to a new hotel i need to do my study or my journaling this comes out and sits like this on my desk and then before i have to go to rehearsal or before we leave the hotel i flip it out zip it up and away i go so great great pro for this product other great pros firstly designed in melbourne um so this is an australian company um so um like bell roy the name of the company is a combination of bells beach and fitzroy um put together so two melbourne places so design in melbourne i'm always going to support australian companies i think it's got a good profile when it's in uh, your bag now what i mean by that is that uh, it takes up less space than say a water bottle uh, so if you've got a uh, you know if you're using a backpack or a satchel and you can put it down inside the case or across the bottom or whatever it has a lot of sort of uh you know different best ways of storing it in that way because it is you know um Got it, it's got good lines and these loops you know do help put it in and take it out of backpacks and things it has good capacity you can put a lot in here more than it kind of looks like you'd be able to uh, and a lot of that is because of this width there uh, sort of sits out and gives you space for your products um, the fact that this one uses recycled material is 
really, really great. Um, all for that. And also, of course, it's durable and it's versatile. So these are big, big uh, strengths in the pros column for the Bellroy pencil case. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and all your accessories, and I'll talk to you soon.